The history brush is a very creative tool, but it's important to understand how it works, how it functions. And we know it functions by drawing back the original image from a snapshot. Cool thing is you can make your own snapshots. For example, if we come over here, let's start with just history itself. If we pick up our paintbrush and begin doing something like that, obviously we don't want to do that, but we're doing it anyway to prove a point. Every time you draw or do something in Photoshop, it creates a history step. And we can back up through those steps, going back to the original if that's what we want to do. You can work on this image for five hours without ever closing it. And if you come into history, this will always be here. If you click that button, you will go back to the original as if you just opened it. So remember, you have that ability to go backward and forward in time, which is kind of cool. Let's go back to the original. Let's say we want to try some interesting ways to work with this image. So we go into our filters, and we go into maybe our artistic filters, and go into colored pencil. We are in the filter gallery. Let's go ahead and take this right here and take it into fit on screen so we can see it. And you kind of like that, but you try a couple other things, maybe fresco, maybe cut out. I mean, there are a lot of fun things that we can do here. Palette, knife. And you decide, I don't know, let's kind of like that. So you leave it on palette, knife, click OK. And there you go. Here's the trick. Come over here. See this option looks like a little camera? Click that button. You've just made your own snapshot. I can come over here now with my history brush. Remember, it looks like a little brush with a counterclockwise arrow going around it. If I begin painting on this one right here, I can actually restore that one back to what it was originally. And that's fine. But notice if I click the entire snapshot for new sketch, basically what happens is it goes either to that one or this one. Now, let's say that you want this image normal but you want the flowers to look like the sketch. Well, this is what you have to do. See this icon right here? That icon means the history brush is painting based on the original image. If you want to create your own snapshot and paint from the snapshot, click right here. Now when you come over here and paint, and actually it would be smart to work in a new layer, and you come over here and you begin painting, you're just simply painting that effect we did artistically on this one flower. Now, we can take that even further. We can go back up to filter. We can make another one of these. We can paint from as many as you want. You can do three or four separate filters. Now, I would suggest you always kind of go back to this one, do a filter on that one, then make a snapshot. Go back, snapshot, back, snapshot. Anytime you want to use that history brush to paint a particular area out, Make sure that you click on the snapshot that you want to use to do the painting. Understand that your history snapshots are only there now. If we close this image and reopen it, they won't be there. But I find history tremendously valuable, not just for saving me when I make a mistake and I don't have the undos to get back to it, but for doing really cool special effects. And again, we will get more into history in our intermediate lesson course on Photoshop. But here's a taste of it. I want you guys to play around and experiment with it. The history brush is awesome.